Welcome back everybody, Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing and today I just want to do a quick rough kind of um, how to navigate around a very popular spot. It is Sea Wolf Park, Texas. It is Sea Wolf Park in Galveston, Texas. We're going to come over here and we're going to search Sea Wolf Park. Sea Wolf Park. Okay, so this is Sea Wolf Park. It is on Pelican Island. It is right next to Galveston. You just take the Pelican Island Causeway from Galveston. Let's just back up. 45 South coming in. Pelican Island Causeway over to Pelican Island. You just take that to it ends and it will end at Sea Wolf Park. Now pulling up to Sea Wolf Park, you will see there a lot of times there is a lot of cars that are parked on the side of the road. Those are for people who aren't paying for uh, to enter the park and aren't paying the parking fee. Typically, those guys come and enter over here and fish and wait fish this area. We'll get back to that in a minute. So, coming into Sewell Park, you will see a sign that says you cannot pass this area. If you pass this area, um, you must pay an entrance fee. Okay, so you come in here. This is what I typically do. I'll come in here. I'll pay my fee. Pay my fee to park and pay my fee to fish the area. Now, we're going to start over here. We're going to start in the pier area. Now, I know this is this this video is kind of geared towards flounder season. Um, I know it's kind of towards the end of flounder season. A lot of people are saying, well, the flounder is already done. They're already moved down and ran out. And, you know, that, that might be true. Um, I'm, I really don't know. I'm not a marine biologist. <laughs> but... Typically, I catch my better quality flounder during the month of December. Um, maybe it's just by luck, it's just by chance, but that that's that that how that's how it is for me. So, real quick, I'm gonna make this video, edit this video, upload this video, so anybody who's interested in fishing the park can do it as soon as possible um, before you totally miss out on the flounder run. Now. There's always great fish to catch here year-round, and there's always flounders here year-round as well. So, that being said, here is the pier. At the edge of the pier, there's places for your surf rods. So, anybody who likes to throw surf rod, you have that. I have caught reds out here. I've caught speckled trout out here. I've caught a bull red out here. I've caught flounders out here. There's fish out here. So, well, now let's get back to... My purpose of making this was just to discuss and talking about flounder season. So right here at the entrance of the pier and around these rocks, it will hold some flounders. Flounders will move in and out this water and or they'll just simply stack up here. Now anywhere along these rocks, you can catch for, you can catch flounder, but it always seems like majority of people are concentrated here and majority of flounders I see pulled out of the water are right along these rocks keep in mind this is no secret it gets very packed during the weekend and even some days during the week you will see quite a lot of people out there so fish for flounder anywhere along this side you can come anywhere down here there's even spots where you can enter the water but keep in mind it's not deep typically it's not deep but there's holes there's rocks there's stuff you can slip on so just be careful take the proper precautions now we're going to switch over to this map right here let's look at this water depth you can see right here it kind of drops off one foot to eight feet 13 feet so right here is about one foot give or take again based on the tide this area about eight feet this area is about 13. All right, so that being said, so on this side, you can get a lot of current coming through there. You can get a lot of current coming through here, so be careful. Uh, I wouldn't get out and wait fish on either of these sides. I wouldn't even get out and wait fish over here. I would go, I'll show you the route that I typically go. I'm not going to jump off a rock into the water. That's just me. So, a lot of hang-ups, though. You know, when you fish around the rocks, fish for flounder, a lot of hang-ups, so bring a lot of tackle. Um, and be prepared to get, you know, be prepared to get hung up and be prepared that you're going to have a lot of brand new best friends that are going to stand shoulder to shoulder with you. Everybody's trying to hook up. Everybody's trying to have a good time. So just be patient with one another. 
So you can catch, like I said before, Seawood Park can hold a lot of fish during all different times of the year. So you can catch some decent fish all the way around here. Uh, some trouts, uh, especially at nighttime, speckled trout are very well uh, caught, especially when you start getting to spring and summertime. Um, another good spot right here, you cast out here. You have parking right here, just back up. There's a rail right here, cast out here. Current can be very strong. Uh, so, you know, use a, a very heavy weighted leader or you can do like I do a lot. I will, especially during the summertime and springtime, I will free line shrimp or simply toss on a popping cork. So along this rail, talking about flounder season, along this rail is a good spot over here to catch flounder. Um, you know, if you're a live, if you're someone who fish with live bait, I would st stick away from shrimp. I know flounders like shrimp, so it's everything else. Uh, I came out here one particular time and I was weight fishing over here and only live bait I could find was shrimp. And let me tell you, the piggy perch just tore me up. Everybody was throwing gulps. Everybody was hooking up left and right. And I um, I had to borrow some gulp, gulps from uh, another fisherman that was out there. And I was able to hook up too. And I just wasted my money on shrimp and just fed the piggy perch or the pinfish or whatever you want to call them. But okay. Um, so let me tell you what I typically do. I typically come over here. I'll park over here. I will walk along this grass. I will come out here. I will come back out through the gate right here there's a little trail and you can enter this um this little body of water over here again this whole side will hold flounder i mean i've seen people walk way down here i don't know where they go but they come back with fish so this whole side will will hold flounder all in here and a lot of, like i said before you know like i said before you catch one you catch two you catch three typically they're they're together and it's it's great and it's a lot of fun where they're stacked up so what i typically do i'll come out here get my ankles wet and i will fan cast because flounders will run shallow and i hate it when i'm just walking through the water and i see dust clouds and i just scared one i can't stand it so i'll come out here get my ankles wet fan cast move a little further fan cast fan cast fan cast now typically this water area is shallow right one to two feet shallow all the way across there is holes i know i saw a lady step over here somewhere and she took a dip which was quite uncomfortable because it was very cold that morning um she was okay that she was just cold and got her pride hurt but um but yeah so just be careful out there take the proper precautions and keep yourself safe but you can come out here fan cast fan cast fan cast you know throw the put those tandem um don't put a tandem leader on put some gulp on that shrimp penny shrimp what the uh, chartreuse tail has really been working good for myself and other anglers that i talked to out there um as far as gulp swimming mullets my my first one my first choice my first color would be pink white then a chartreuse in that order for myself but um but yeah come out here throw your tandem fan cast fan cast move fan cast fan cast move i'll just I, when i come out i just work the whole area um, you can even come over here along the rocks. Just be careful because it's slippery. And fan cast, fan cast, fan cast. Right? Right. All right. So leaving here, again, if the wind's blowing this way, this is calm. The wind's blowing this way, this is calm. Right? North-south wind, kind of like uh, Texas City Dyke. So, uh, you know, always gives you like a calm spot. So that's kind of why I like the sea. Uh, that's why I like fishing Seawood Park. So you come across here. You can come over here. You can enter the water over here and be careful watch the slipperiness of the rocks and you can wade fish this entire area you will even see boats come in and and uh, try to fish this area but again be careful let's check out the depth so like we said over here it's 46 feet right this is the area we're just talking about 46 5 39 3 feet and boom drops 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 so just be careful watch yourself So you can come out here, wade fish the area, fan cast, move, fan cast, move. So we're going to go further down the road. Now, I talked to you a minute ago about cars that park up here. And you can come out here and you can enter the water over here. There's a couple different spots for people that don't want to pay that parking fee. Um, you know, I've done it before. I parked over here and I've come out here and, and wade fish. Just 
if I just only had like a few hours to spare, just want to come over here and see if I can catch a flounder. But you can come fish out here all along, all along this bank, and on this side, I failed to mention, but right before you get the the water gets to this to the bank there, there's a little ditch, little undertow. You can come out here and work this whole area and work the whole area and fish that ditch all the way down. A lot of times that's what I like to do. I'll come fish here, I'll turn back, I'll fish this here, fan cast the whole way, fan cast the whole way, fan cast the whole way, and I just work it like a whole grid to make sure I cover um, as much uh, ground as possible. But over here as well, there's a little ditch. So a lot of times I'll come out here, I'll work the ditch, and there will be people that are all packed up in here, even boats, and I'm over here working. Now, if you come all the way down here, all the way down, you will see there's more structure. And you know flounders, they like structure. Just be careful. Uh, don't slip on any of these rocks and this debris and stuff. But you can come all the way down here and pull some flounders out as well. But be careful. Like we were talking about drop-offs, right? You get further south, you have a 5-foot drop-off, 17 feet, 7 feet. goes from 1 to 7. Just be very careful out there. I can't say I can't emphasize that enough. Now, that's last thing I want last thing any of us need to do is hear about another angler or another kayaker or somebody else that's been out there in the water and uh, they didn't make it home to their families. So be careful. Giving you this information just so you can go out there and try to try to um try to fish a new spot or a place that you haven't fished before. Okay. So I think I said a lot. <laughs> Probably real fast. Seawood Park, great place, a great place to fish, great place to bring the family. There's a playground. You have a couple of vessels here that are turned into museums, so the kiddos could come out. You come out, bring the kids, fish the fish the sides over here, and try to let them catch a perch or uh, a trout or two. Come out here, bring them to the pier. Um, Russian facility. I know they even sell some bait. I don't think they sell live. I think it might be dead, but um, don't quote me on that. I knew they. I know they recently set up a bait a bait place there that you can also buy bait as well. But Sea Park, great place uh, to fish. Uh, everybody, a lot of people know about it. A lot of people do come out. It is. It gets packed on the weekends. Um, typically, Monday seems like the best day to, uh, for me to fish anywhere just as far as uh, people go, um, not so many people out fishing on a Monday. Um, but I, you know, I hope this helps you. Um, if you have any comments, if you have any comments, any questions, leave them below. Um, I know there's other people that have, have way more experience fishing Seawood Park that have fished there for decades. So any of you Seawood Park vets out there that want to share any of that information, please leave it below. And uh, I know myself and other subscribers and you, uh, other subscribers and viewers would deeply appreciate any of that knowledge that you want to share with us. But I hope this helps you. I hope you get out there, uh, use Google Maps, like I said before, make some spots your own. Use this little bit of information I, I talked to you about Siwa Park, and hopefully you can get out there and find yourself your own flounder hole. Thanks again. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks.